Now, how do these microbes spread? All right, first of all, I must tell you that all microbes do not cause diseases. There are some microbes that cause diseases and they are called pathogens. So, pathogens are disease causing organisms. Now, how do they spread from one person to another? These organisms are parasites and parasites have a unique feature. They remain in a host as long as they are able to get food and shelter. The moment host starts becoming sick or host starts dying, they leave and then they move on to the next host. This is their basic feature. So, what happens is that they can easily move on from one person to another by various means. For example, when you have cough or cold or maybe even pneumonia or you have viral fever, what is the general precaution? That you must not sneeze or cough just uncovered mouth, but you must cover with some hanky or with at least with your hand. Why? Because when the droplets fall in the atmosphere, they have the pathogens and so the disease can spread. So, that is why one method is or one means is air. There are many diseases that are spread by air and they are called airborne diseases. Even your measles or smallpox, they are all airborne diseases because they spread through air. Why do you take mineral water? Because we feel the other water may be contaminated. It may be having bacteria and virus. These days there are so many ads of pure, pure water or the RO system or the filters. Why are they there? Because water can be the greatest source of infection. Because it is in the same source of water, animals are even given bath, clothes are washed, industrial waste falls and the result is that it becomes a source of infection. The disease that spreads through water is say jaundice, cholera. So, these are called water borne diseases. Common cold is airborne, water borne is cholera. Then sometimes infection can also be through food. The contaminated food like I told you can cause food poisoning. Similarly, if somebody has taken pork which is not properly cooked or is not from properly maintained, hygienically maintained piggery, the tapeworms can, the tapeworm eggs can enter our body and we can get infected to tapeworm. So, food is another source of infection. 